Okay, let us look at this question, <coughs> uh, which is an example uh, on numbers. Okay, and uh, okay, so what's the question? The product of two consecutive odd numbers is one less than four times their sum. So this is a huge sentence. There are many information here. You have a product, two consecutive odd numbers. So let's look at what do you understand by or how how can we express this in an algebraic way two consecutive odd numbers so let me talk about consecutive odd numbers suppose i'll give an example say 7 and 9 are called two consecutive odd numbers they are odd numbers and consecutive one after the other so if you let say this as x this would be x plus 2 okay so this is 7 is x 9 would be x plus 2 so this is true for any two consecutive odd numbers so we'll write like this let the two consecutive odd numbers odds not odds odd numbers b equal to x and x plus 2. Now, this is a very important step in algebra. You have to let something, okay? Now, let us, so, the, now you have to read backwards the product. So, how will you write the product? A product of these numbers, product means multiplication. So, the product would be x times x plus 2. So, this is your product, and then you've got 4 times the sum, 4 times the sum of this number. So, the sum is x plus x plus 2, which is 2x plus 2. So, now, if you want to write 4 times the sum, 4 times the sum, this is how you have to read the question. 4 times the sum means 4 times 2x plus 2 which is 8x plus 8. Okay, now we'll read the question again. The product of two consecutive odd numbers is 1 less than 4 times the, 4 times their sum. So, what they're saying is, this, the product is 1 less than this. Okay, suppose if someone is telling you, so let me delete this. Suppose someone is telling you, say, say 7, okay, let me take a very easy number, suppose 5 is 1 less than 6, do you agree, yeah, 5 is 1 less than 6, so how can you write this, you can write this in many ways, so far you can write this as 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, this is the same thing, saying 5 is 1 less than 6, or you can say 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 or you can also say 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 they all mean the same thing so now can we now let us read it again the the product okay the product is 1 less than 4 times so we are saying this is 1 less than this so can i write let me change color so can i say product which is x times x plus 2 is 1 less. That means if you write, if you add 1 to it, you will get the sum, which is 8x plus 8. Okay. So, if you expand this, so this is x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 8x plus 8. So, let me bring this whole thing to the left hand side. So, to make it a quadratic equation. 2x plus 1, or you're taking away this from both sides, so this is minus 8x, minus 8 is equal to 0. So, this is x squared plus 2x minus 8x is minus 6x, and plus 1 minus 8 is minus 7. So, now you can factorize this, you put this in bracket, so, I can say this is x and this is x. The two factors of negative 7, which gives you negative 6, are negative 7 and plus 1. 
So, x is 7 or x is equal to negative 1. But, we have to say, but we are thinking of positive numbers. We are, we are talking about two odd numbers, okay. They are positive. Okay. So, we are saying, but x is greater than 0. So, your x is 7, which implies x plus 2 is 9. Okay. So, therefore, the two numbers, the two consecutive consecutive odd numbers are 7 and 9. So, let us check the answer. So, what is the product of this? The product is 7 times 9, which is 63. And then, what is the sum? The sum is 7 plus 9, which is 16. And 4 times the sum. 4 times the sum would be 4 times 16, which is 64. And that's what we are saying, that this is 1 less than this. And the equation that we wrote was 63 plus 1 is equal to 64. If you can think this was the product, and this is the sum of 4 times the sum. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.